we have found we've heard rumors for a little while that people who have had positive lateral flow device test results and some of them actually symptomatic have then not gone on to uh, find they've had a confirmatory PCR that was positive. So um, what we've done, we've looked in great detail at this um, and uh, our investigation has found that there is a single laboratory. Uh, we contract with this laboratory and the fault actually appears to be there. We've now suspended those services completely uh, and the rest of the system is working as normal. Well, we have close links with people like directors of public health in local communities. Um, and so we listen to them and we will get um, anecdotal feedback often. Um, and the, there's been some feedback and some queries coming through over the last two or three weeks. But it's only in the last uh, few days where we've taken, we've dug right down into both the geography and the different types of tests coming back through and the different prevalence rates that's allowed us to pinpoint exactly what it is. Um, and uh, about half of these cases are coming from the southwest and that's allowed us to locate the laboratory. Uh, because I think people may not realise that when they have a test, it's not the test site that is the geographical location. Obviously, the tests are distributed around so that we can process them as quickly as we possibly can and get results back to individual patients.